This gun is actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Wow, that is far. To basically just make the gun super easy to use. But as you can see, so hello gamers and welcome back to another video. So I have actually pre-bought quite a few guns throughout my career in Phantom Forces. I've been playing this game for about like six years. And during that time, I've regretted a lot of my purchases. So today I thought I would make a list of every single gun that I ever pre-bought and tell you guys why I did and if it was a good decision and if you should as well. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're new. I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. But anyway, our first gun is the Tech 9. This might be the first gun I ever pre Pre and it's funny because I actually didn't really use this gun too much when I initially pre-bought it. However, after rank 50, I did use it quite a bit. It's one of my highest kill secondaries by a long shot. I have 1,200 kills on it. The only other guns I have over 1,000 for secondaries are like the XIX and I think the SFG and that's it. Regardless, I ended up really enjoying the gun. However, that was a long time ago and this gun has gotten significantly worse since then. Wow, you are bad. I used to do 28 to 20, so a 4 to a 5 shot. Now it's 24 to 17, so a 5 to a 6 shot. And soon it will be a 5 to, I think, a 7 shot, which is actually kind of ridiculous. It does have 1,500 RPM and still has really good TDK. Back when I got a ton of kills on it, it didn't have the Extendamag, so I guess there is that. But, like, this is a significantly worse gun. If you watched any of my other videos where I talk about this gun, you probably know my answers. No, you shouldn't pre buy this gun. You should probably not even be using it at all. The recoil is pretty bad. With full stock, it has, like, the worst walk speed of all time. This is so slow for secondary. The TTK is fast, but like not as fast as it was before. Before, you could actually three shot with hollow point. Now it's going to be a four shot with hollow point and a five shot otherwise. And with hollow point, it's like a seven, eight shot at range. It has really bad ranges as well. So it's really not that good. Overall, a resounding no. I don't think you should pre-buy this gun. It is only rank 50, but not really worth it. This isn't the next gun I pre-bought, but this is the next one on the list. And that would be the Dragon of SVDS. The funny thing is, the same thing kind of happened that happened with the Tech 9. I have over a thousand kills on this gun, but I didn't get more than like 20 when I first pre-bought this gun. I didn't like it. I don't know why I pre-bought it in the first place, but I just kind of decided, okay, this is the gun that I want to pre-buy. But I used to make a bunch of bad business decisions. Yeah, kind of. Then I got smart and started saving up credits and I had like 40k without purchasing any credits at all, which is kind of unheard of outside of like rank 300. But before then, I did not understand how to spend money because I was probably like, you know, 13 in 2016 or whatever. I don't remember how old I was. So that was a really dumb decision to actually pre-buy this when I wasn't actually going to use it. So that's why I do recommend if you're going to pre-buy any gun, make sure to pre-buy it in the test place. That was a nutty wall bang shot there. Oh my gosh. You're probably like, okay, so he says, no, don't pre-buy. Well, actually, I would recommend you pre-buy this gun if you want to snipe, because I think this is one of the most fun, enjoyable, and good sniper rifles you can ever have. I put it number five for sniper rifles, but you can definitely put it number one. It's super, super good, super accessible, and easy to use. It really doesn't have any massive drawbacks to being used, and all that stuff together makes it a great gun overall. It's rank 103, so just keep that in mind. It might be kind of expensive for some people, and also, if you don't like sniping, I don't really recommend it. I didn't really like sniping as a low rank. I used mostly, like, autos and, like, LMGs and I was trash at the game, but now I snipe a lot more and I really like this. This is one of my main sniper rifles to use, definitely. But yeah, definitely recommend for this one. The next gun I pre-bought is actually the 1858 New Army. And this was long before the snake shot conversion got added. This was like 2018 when the gun actually first came out and it really wasn't anything super special at the time. It was a little bit expensive, not super expensive. It's not like actually a very high rank gun, but for some reason I did pre-buy the gun. I used it a tiny, tiny bit after pre-buying it and then realized I don't really like the gun and then stopped using it. Looking back, it is a great revolver and of course snake shot is the reason i have most of my kills on it probably have like 100 kills on the default gun and like 600 on the snake shot conversion but this gun is actually pretty good i'm not gonna lie Wow, that is far. So yeah, I can one-shot headshot to like 150 studs, maybe further, which is kind of insane, but the problem is it has pretty bad RPM. You can also use the alt fire for it, which will make the recoil really high with the cowboy barrel on the gun, but like if you run muzzle break, you can spam. I do like using the 140 RPM version going for the headshots because this thing can headshot really far. Do I recommend you pre-buy it? Not really. I think the Rex is probably going to do you better for spamming and do you better for like headshotting as well because this is just, it's got annoying recoil. So overall, this is a no. It would have been a yes back when it had the extremely extremely broken snake shot conversion, but now not so much. Another gun I pre-bought is, of course, the BFG-50. The BFG-50 is, you know what it is, and you probably already pre-bought it. But if you haven't pre-bought it, do I recommend you do? Well, yes and no. Surprisingly, it's not just a straight-up no. I used this gun a tiny bit, but then again, I just didn't really like sniping in this game, and I was a low rank, but I did pre-buy the gun, and I don't really think that was a great decision, because I didn't really like sniping. I used, like, you know, SMGs and stuff, and I still use mostly, like, SMGs and, like, close-range stuff, but I snipe quite a bit more now, and I do have over 1,000 
thousand kills on this gun. It is one of my highest kill sniper rifles, not because it's great, but because it's very fun. So if you want a very fun sniper rifle, I do recommend this. If you want a very good sniper rifle, pre-buy the SVDS. Here's the Intervention, the Remington. This is the worst sniper rifle in the game, but it is one of the most fun sniper rifles, if not the most fun sniper rifle in the entire game. But I bet a lot of people would disagree with me on that because a lot of people probably do prefer the SVDS for having fun because it's so good and it just feels good to snipe with. This is just fun because it's slow and it does big damage, but it also doesn't have like awful handling. It's just got a slow rate of fire. I just really like the gun. I think it's funny. Definitely not a great gun. If you're going to pre-buy it for actually doing good, I don't recommend that. However, if you want to pre-buy it and have fun, good for you, dude. Like it's actually pretty fun to use. The next gun I pre-bought is actually the M107. I didn't pre-buy the Hecate and I actually pre-bought the M107 like three ranks early as a joke, but I did pre-buy it. It only cost me like 800 credits. That's how close it was to actually just being unlocked. And before the changes to this gun, maybe I would have recommended it. If you pre-buy this gun at like rank 20, people will get super mad. And also it'll be super expensive. It's like rank 170. That's going to be expensive. You may as well just pre-buy like the SVDS and then like an assault rifle and then have like a better class setup. The M107 by itself is going to be super expensive and it's also super weird to use. It's not going to be that great for a low rank player. In fact, the Hikate is probably going to be more usable if you're a lower rank. Do I think the Hikate is actually better than the M107? No, I actually think the M107 is significantly better than the Hikate, but the M107 just has the weird quirk of not being able to torso kill up close, having weird recoil, and having really weird quirks with its aiming down sight. So overall, this is going to be a no for pre-buying this gun. But do I think that people shouldn't use it in general? No, I just think that it's not really the best pre-buy. Maybe because I was trying to get into sniping, I pre-bought a lot of sniper rifles. I think this is the last one that I pre-bought. Wow, that was a good wall bang. And this was the AWM. And I ended up liking this gun a ton, but at the time, I did not. It's kind of just basically a Remington or Model 700. You don't really need it. There's also the fact that, like, I would say that the M1903 is an overall better gun, so I don't really recommend this one too much. It is good, and I do recommend it overall, but versus other guns in the game, not so much. The op conversion is very, very good, but I would say that this is definitely a no. Now we're on to some of the guns that I actually pre-bought as a high rank when I had my channel. Some of these were pre-bought with credits I got from Stylus, but most of them weren't. The first one here is the G11. I did buy the G11 with my own credits, and I can say at the time that I didn't really recommend it, but overall, should you pre-buy this gun? Actually, yes. This gun is extremely busted. It's super good. Difficult to use and weird, yes, but like, it is probably one of the best guns in the entire game. That is the entire enemy team. Hold on. Okay. I don't really use this gun like every single day or anything, but I will say right now, it is a very good gun. I just don't really use it a ton. I have a few hundred kills on it, but it's not like my main gun and it probably should be because it's so good. Sometimes I'm not really looking for that kind of gun. The burst is super difficult to actually like figure out what you're supposed to be doing with it. But once you do, it is an amazing gun. It can one burst to the body to 90 studs and one burst head at any range. So basically you can actually like one shot people because the burst has 2000 RPM and no spread. You probably have heard of the gun before, seen the gun in a video before, but a lot of people don't use the gun. So overall, I would recommend the gun because it is extremely good. Just a really difficult assault rifle. Probably one of the coolest assault rifles, if not just the coolest one. I'm actually going to go as far as to say that this is definitely the coolest assault rifle. It's very cool. I also did pre-buy the Scout. And yeah, I actually do recommend you pre-buy the Scout as well. Should every single person pre-buy the gun? No, definitely not. But if you're looking for a headshot sniper rifle, that's very fast. I do recommend that. And also you have the Steyr conversion, 376 Steyr, whatever, to basically just make the gun super easy to use. But as you can see, if you can hit your headshots like that, it is extremely extremely good. Possibly the best sniper rifle in the entire game. Maybe the SVU is kind of better. If you think about it, the SVU has better RPM and just kind of like sounds like it would perform better, but this has like better handling, better recoil, better walk speed, and a faster reload. The SVU actually performs way better to the body, but this can one shot headshot at any range, which is pretty cool. Obviously, most of the sniper rifles can do that, but for 100 RPM, that is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. You could also say the Henry is better, but like the thing about the Henry is that it's got recoil. It's only got five rounds. The reload time is super slow and it has pretty bad velocity. This gun, if you really think about it, if you just hit the head it's like the best sniper rifle in the entire game great gun i'm actually kind of okay i just missed Next up, we have the Wa 2000. The Wa 2000 is going to be getting a rework, which is pretty cool. But like right now, it is kind of, if you think about it, like a Steyr Scout upgrade. It doesn't have the best handling, and it's obviously not going to be the greatest in terms of like recoil or anything. But I'm not going to lie, for close range, this is probably one of the best sniper rifles, if not the best sniper rifle in the game, because it has 100 RPM and can one shot to the torso. That's really, really good. With 300 conversion, it has 100, it has 90 by default, but most people use 300 and run it for close range. It's basically just like a shotgun slug ammo type if you run it like this, because 
like it's just going to be a point and click and just get one shot one kill and if you miss it doesn't really matter it's a great gun do i recommend you pre-buy it maybe not as much as a scout because it's kind of annoying to use i don't know who i even killed there you can't really tell because i'm using all but the handling is pretty bad it's got slow walk speed slow reload overall the shire scout is probably a more fun more skill based and cooler gun but maybe this is easier to use and possibly better it really just depends on how good at the game you are i'm not saying this is a bad conversion by any means it's very very good so yeah i'd probably say not as much but yeah it is a light you recommend that you pre-buy it but next up we have the ntw the ntw is slow and it has a really annoying feature where basically you can only aim while you're crouching or prone so either just walk around like this and no scope or camp in the back of the map if you're a camper i guess this is a good gun but like i do not recommend this gun overall it's not a super fun gun i guess if you slide in like this then you can actually kill people also keep in mind that the aiming walk speed is literally zero so the second you aim you just can't even move overall not the best gun of all time but it is pretty funny it's just super high rank and also you can mount it on stuff like this which is cool really good feature i'm glad they added that because it makes it way better for metro just don't pre-buy this gun don't go through like the hassle of using it the svds the want 2k all those other guns are going to be better i only pre-bought it because i'm ranked 214 and this gun came out like a year ago and of course i was not ranked 220 a year ago the last gun i pre-bought is of course the can cannon the can cannon is objectively speaking a amazing sniper rifle however in practice it is kind of not that great and that's why you don't really see it in the game too much and i don't really wow okay I recommend that you pre-buy it or anything but it is kind of a funny gun you know the way i recommend it is basically golf ball and 50 beowulf blanks because then you have super high velocity a super fast reload time and you can still one shot to the torso and one shot headshot at any range which is pretty good it's kind of like an m1903 with like a bigger magazine kind of and kind of similar rpm as well but like of course you gotta like reload every single time however you can actually aim and reload which is kind of cool except you're not really reloading you're kind of just bolting the gun it's kind of just a different bolting animation in the game sense in reality the real reload is this and you can't really game downsides while you do that but 50 bandwidth blanks you get 10 rounds you get 50 reserve with this which is actually kind of crap and the reload time is actually a lot better than the other ammo types and you also get the maximum velocity of 3000 which is really good and also there's no bloom to this gun which doesn't make any sense why the sfg has bloom and this doesn't it literally is shooting a freaking golf ball but i actually don't really recommend this gun it's super high rank and just kind of weird and i don't know why but i can't hit my shots with it at all wow okay you're dead but yeah if you guys did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe that is every gun i pre-bought unless i missed one but but you guys wouldn't know if I did. I wouldn't know either because you can't see which guns you pre-bought. Please add that to the game stylus. I want to see which guns I pre-bought. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Have a nice day.